Venus. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Done in no workers. time. Amy in front of the camera today. Pablo <laughs> behind. Hey. So, how's it going? Um, it's hot this week. I'm off work this week. We've been doing yard work. And we're hot and we're tired. So, we wanted to make this, like we always do, fast and simple. Yeah. And I think we did pretty well. I mean, we it did. took us what, an hour really and a half, well. maybe, yeah. to make these. And that's with all the picture taken and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So, um, without further ado, let's take a look at this. Oh, so, so this side, huh? This is an Italian uh, meatballs with, as it called it, Italian salsa, salsa verde, yeah. which just means pesto. pesto. Um, but it's homemade pesto. Yeah. So um, if you don't mm. want to make homemade pesto, just buy pesto, yeah. really. But, but this, it's so much fun. This was, um, it's not a traditional basil and pine nut pesto. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit of basil with parsley and thyme, fresh herbs and some olive oil, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah. And garlic and anchovies. Beautiful color. Anchovies, baby. And typically pine nuts are the base for pesto. Mm -hmm. But at the bulk foods section at HEB, they did not have them where we could just get the quarter cup we needed. We had to buy $14 worth of pine <laughs> nuts and the rest, like we'd be trying to make recipes with pine nuts for yeah. weeks. So we said, you know what? We have some walnuts at home. You can also make pesto with any type of nuts mm -hmm. that you want, just something with some oil and fat to it. So we did walnuts and guess what? It turned out great. Yes. Uh, also has some Parmesan cheese in it. Yes. So um, yeah, and just serve that up with our favorite jasmine rice and some green beans roasted with garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Basic, basic. There's your, your meat, your veggie and your starch. Nice. All right, over here, Mediterranean turkey burger bowls. So this is basically just a nice, clean Mediterranean salad, mixed greens with red onion and tomatoes and some yummy, yummy uh, mm -hmm. mozzarella balls mm -hmm. and a little bit of avocado to get some healthy fat in there. I went ahead and just dressed the avocados with some lemon juice and then put some nice salt and pepper over all the veggies so that um, this hopefully won't brown before we eat it. And it's got some, some uh, flavor. Paul made the turkey mm. burgers. What's in them? Um, oh, well, that's a good question. What is in them? I guess I you'll I find out when you get the recipe this week. Something Mediterranean-ish, uh, A lot of, lot of parsley. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. parsley. Um, keep talking, mm -hmm. I'll remember. See? See, I caught it on the floor, <laughs> that's my question. And we made a, a homemade Italian dressing. You don't have to do that, guys. Anytime we are using a sauce or a dressing, mm -hmm. you don't have to get fancy. Um, I feel like, is it a Barefoot Contessa or Ina Garden, one of those uh, celebrity chefs she's always like, <laughs> have your own sheep out back to make your mozzarella balls. <laughs> Store-bought is fine. So, you know, save the time. Buy pre-made dressings. Just look for stuff that's not loaded with salt and sugar. Fewest number of ingredients possible. Not yes. a lot of um, preservatives and chemicals and stuff. The best you can do on your budget, okay? There's feta in there. There's feta there. Yeah. See, he remembered something. The feta cheese and parsley, yum, salt and pepper, yum, garlic. Yum. Yeah, this is gonna be basics. delicious. Yes. Delish. Um, and finally, I wanted chicken salad. When it's hot outside, I always crave chicken salad. So this is a simple, um, we roasted the chicken, used broccoli slaw. I've been on a pineapple kick lately. I put some fresh pineapples in there. And then I thought, ooh, jalapeno sounds good. So a little bit of jalapeno. Mm. And then we couldn't agree on what to dress it with. <laughs> and I said, well, I want poppy seed dressing. He says, well, I don't want poppy seed dressing. So we so, divvied yeah. it up before we put the dressing in and we each did what we wanted. Nice I did so poppy seed and he did this Oh my gosh, up. guys, this stuff is so good. This white balsamic shallot oh, that so we good. are yeah. loving right now. Mm -hmm. So um, there's also some almonds in here for a little bit of healthy fat. Uh, this is going to be delish. I already tasted it. It's super yummy. So, <laughs> um, anyway, guys, don't be nervous about making your own. You don't need a recipe to make a, a chicken salad or um, whatever meat. I guess you could do like a tuna, tuna salad stars. or something. Yeah. But uh, don't so be many nervous ways about to it. There's them. lots of ways to do it. Just basically put together a bunch of stuff you like. But um, we might have another little video coming at you with some suggestions for that. So um, I'm excited about this. I'm working from home. I'm off-ish this week. So i um, excited to have some nice colorful meals ready to go and salads and all that. So um, let us know if you try anything. Let us know what you want. If there's anything you want us to make for you, we're happy to give it a shot and make it uh, faster, more simple and yummier for you and healthier, okay? All right guys, take care. Cool. Bye -bye. Take care guys, bye.